My dad was in the Navy, so we moved all over the country and finally settled here in Virginia Beach. I immediately fell in love with the ocean and the waves and the boardwalk and the beach, the vibrancy and the people and all the colors, the Pharrells, the Timberlands, the Clips, all the people who made it from here. I mean, how could you not be inspired by this place? I've always been amazed by skateboarding. It's a beautiful thing. When I was getting into the skate scene, Nike SB Dunks were coming into popularity. I fell in love with trying to figure out what these designs are based off because it wasn't just some random color way they thought was cool. It was stories for every single shoe. I loved Pharrell, so then I found out he had a skate team, and then he had his own shoes, and then I found out about BBC and ice cream. All the stuff that I liked kind of came together. I had a clothing brand right out of high school called X Society. It was me trying to get my creativity out there a little bit. I joined the Coast Guard, and at that point, I wasn't really putting designs out on paper, but I was always designing stuff in my head. Everything changed when I got the opportunity to design my first sneaker. Scrolling through Instagram, and I see Nike SB or nothing post something about a contest. It's about your city, and you can win your own shoe. I was like, dang, this is like made for me. Because any shoe design I ever thought of was always based off of where I'm from. I wanted to do the waves, because that's like the first thing I think of is the Virginia Beach oceanfront and the King Neptune statue as well, which is such an iconic thing at the beach. I knew I'd want to give ode to the military, because I'm in the military, and also my dad was in the military. And then the swoosh. Not only was it a nod to Nikki Diamonds, who designed my favorite SB Dunk of all time, it was also the big Navy ships that are steel. Wanted to obviously give note to the music because that's one of the things that kept me excited about living here. I put it out there just like any other post, you're hoping a whole bunch of people will see it. After that first day, I had like a thousand likes with them. I was like, dang, way more people were sharing it than I ever thought. Virginia Beach and all of Virginia backed me so hard. The whole contest was almost surreal. I never really thought I was gonna win. I just wanted to put something out because I haven't put something out and this is my dream. Once I actually won, the reverse lane people hit me up. Like, all right, we're gonna get started as soon as we can. It was the longest couple of months of my life. It was just like a waiting game. I knew they were coming at some point, I just didn't really know when. Happy birthday to you. When the shoes finally came, it was actually on my birthday, so I was even cooler. Yeah, where'd you get it? This is cool. Oh, I like the cake too. Yeah. You do? My friend Samantha made it. To have the box in hand was an unbelievable feeling. Look, Daddy Surprise is here. Look! I think I know what it is. Look. Oh. What are those? Your shoes are cool. <laughs> Dang. It was just crazy to see my design on a sneaker, and not just any sneaker, my favorite sneaker of all time, the Nike SB Dunk. And look, they look like the picture. Mm-hmm. I like waves on it. I like the waves, waves on it? Reverse Land did such a great job of putting the shoes together. The manufacturing, the colors pop, the attention to detail. It was amazing to see how it all came together. Even the sneaker box was dope. Can you find Daddy? 
just that is. Yeah. As soon as I signed off on the design, I went into manufacturing, and since they're custom, there wasn't a whole lot of pairs that were going to be made, and the process takes a little bit longer. But once the day came to put them on sale, I got a notification that said they sold out in 15 minutes, and I was like, dang. To sell out and to sell out in less than 30 minutes is a dream come true. I'm a religious person, so I feel like God didn't give me this opportunity just for me to go back to posting pictures of my family and the shoes that I'm wearing that day. As soon as I won the contest, it really rejuvenated me to be able to let that creativity out. And now that I have like a platform to do it, it's almost like I don't want to buy clothes from anybody else. I'll just make my own shirt. So if I can actually live out my dream of becoming a designer or working in the industry in any way, I need to jump on it and do as much as I can, as quick as I can. This opportunity is not gonna always be there if I just rest on my laurels. You gotta strike while the iron is hot. And that's exactly what I'm trying to do. I have a lot of eyes on me and the attention of a lot of people that I've always wanted to work with and looked up to. There's a lot of pressure on myself, but I also feel like I'm on top of the world.